At this point in the course, I've already introduced you to waves on strings. In this video, we're going to begin studying a different type of wave, namely sound waves. To get started, what I have here is a tube which has some air in it. And you can see that the air molecules are distributed evenly throughout the tube. Because the air molecules are distributed evenly throughout the tube, we initially have the same pressure and the same density everywhere in the tube. Over at this end of the tube, I have a speaker. So to get things started, I'm going to have the speaker move in towards that region where the air molecules are. Do you see that in that motion of the speaker, this group of air molecules got crammed into this group of air molecules, and we now have a region in the tube with higher density and higher pressure than the rest of the tube. So what happens next? Well, now look at the second group of air molecules. The second group of air molecules experiences higher pressure on its left but just the normal ambient pressure on its right. So what's going to happen with the second group of air molecules? Well, the higher pressure on the left is going to push this group to the right. And now our region of high density and high pressure is over here. Now let's look at the third group of air molecules. The third group of air molecules now experiences higher than normal pressure on its left, but just the normal ambient pressure on its right. So what's that third group of air molecules going to do? Well, it's going to get pushed to the right. And you can see that now I have the region of higher density and higher pressure over here. And you can see that this is going to keep going. Now the fourth group of air molecules is going to move over here so that the region of high density and high pressure is now over in this portion of the tube. You can see that once this gets going, it's just going to keep going. In other words, what has happened here is that I started with a medium in equilibrium. Starting from that medium in equilibrium, I disturbed the equilibrium of the medium by creating a region of high density and high pressure over here but once that region of high density and high pressure was created, it propagated through the medium. It was not the air molecules themselves that propagated through the medium. It was that disturbance in the density and pressure. What do we call a phenomenon where a disturbance to a medium, once created, is then able to propagate on its own through the medium? We call that a wave. In particular, what we are looking at here is a sound wave. A sound wave is a propagating disturbance to the pressure and density in a medium. In the example of a sound wave that I showed you here, it was a high density, high pressure disturbance which propagated through the medium. A region in a sound wave where the pressure and density of the medium are higher than normal is called a compression. So now we're going to move on to the next idea. You can see here that I have reset the tube so that once again I have an even distribution of air molecules throughout the tube. And because once again the air molecules are evenly distributed throughout the tube, the pressure and density are the same everywhere throughout the tube. However, this time, instead of having the speaker move into the region with the air molecules, I'm going to have the speaker move away from the region with the air molecules. Can you see that when the speaker moves away from the air molecules, I create a region with low density and pressure over here? Now, let's look at that first group of air molecules. That first group of air molecules experiences lower than normal pressure on the left, but the normal ambient pressure on the right, what do you think that first group of air molecules is going to do? Well, that first group of air molecules will be pushed into the low pressure region over here. 
But now you can see that our low density, low pressure region is in there. So let's go to the second group of air molecules. The second group of air molecules now experiences lower than normal pressure on the left, but the regular ambient pressure on the right. What do you think that second group of air molecules is going to do? It's going to get pushed into the low pressure region. And now our low density, low pressure region is over here. You can see that this is going to just continue. That third group of air molecules is going to move into here, creating a low pressure region here. So then the fourth group of air molecules moves into here and so forth. So similar to the compression that I already showed you, we can also see that a low density, low pressure region in the medium, once it is created, will propagate through the medium. A low density, low pressure region in a sound wave is called a rarefaction. Let's sum up. In this video, I have introduced you to the idea of a sound wave, which is a propagating disturbance in the pressure and density of a medium. We have learned that within a sound wave, there can be a compression, which is a high density, high pressure region, but there can also be a rarefaction, which is a low density, low pressure region in the sound wave. In the next video, we're going to see how compressions and rarefactions come together to make sound waves, which can be detected by the ears of living things such as ourselves.